catfish. <laughs> Hi, mate. How's the fishing, Luke? Slow and steady, Magnus. Slow and steady. But uh, shouldn't we be moving, progressing somewhere? We should, but this time we're actually hitching a ride. So what's the plan? What are we up to today? Well, we'll get on the lake, and then once on the lake, we'll follow the old uh, path of the Brisbane River as it wound itself across Wyvernau. Yeah. Uh, as closely as we can, and uh, we can probably find some history along the way as well. It's quite a historic area, this actually, uh, from the research that you've done. Uh, looking forward to exploring some of that. Yeah, it'll be a good day. Nice and windy as well. Well, I think that's probably the taxi coming over there, so let's get ready. Huh? Fantastic, let's go. Yeah, but there were spots on that point to go on. Yeah, yeah. 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 But now I'll like... find a paddle when she's up though. <laughs> Our grandchildren, we've got four great-grandchildren, and they will never ever see or even understand what that river was like. We used to swim it, you know. But the river itself was Beautiful. very clean. It was all... It was all, running. Uh, it was always very clean. It was always... But it was all, it's all rock and sand, and it was beautiful water. In summertime, the old Mumba Bridge would be anything up to... Eight or nine families out there all having to swim in the river. Mm. Mm. But the river, it's just hard to explain what the river was like because it was just, uh, just well, a Well, it was river. a favourite like, spot for, well, for I mean, everyone. You know, it, and um, Different places like at, at Bryden. We used to go to Bryden to swim a lot too. A lot, a lot of the uh, families used to go out and have picnics. Yep. And, that, and there was a, when you come on our side of the river, it was all flat, but the other side there's this... Big rocks. Big, huge rocks. Yeah, amazing. Uh, well, there was lots of trees, lots of trees. It was all treed anyway, the whole way. And, well, I know Al and I and a mob of us used to go out to the junction, it was called. That was up up at that's the Brisbane River and the Stanley yeah. where they meet. K Kaboomba. And we'd stay there for the weekend and um, put our nets in, of course. And, of course... Um, the kids and the women went up the river and we swam down and making a big noise for the fish to move on. And you'd hear the men cheering and I said, oh, well, they must be in the net. <laughs> That's how it went. But the river provided for all those families. Well, we did those things in those days. You never worried about life jackets or nothing. Your kids, your kids are going to learn to swim, come on. And they learned to swim. <laughs> And we'd swim down the river when we were camping from there. The men would be down here doing something. So I said, well, we'll swim down. So we did. You know, it was fantastic. The swimming hole at Bryden, you'd just swing off the road to the bridge and stay there all day. Same with Marumba. I used to go out and load pumpkins and potatoes out of Ted Ivers and Galinsky's and uh, take them and the kids out. And I'd go to walk down the bank and go in and have a swim and I'd... Mm. I'd load the truck and then I'd go down and have a swim. Yeah. Yes. Well, that, that's the memories. You could see where the river was. Well, I, can, I know where the river I can see that when it's real low. I can still see those markings over there where the road come around. Right over there. See, the Murumba Bridge here was a little wooden one. Then they read, put a higher one in. Yes. But they left the old one there. Yeah. They didn't blow it up a bit, yeah. but the pylons are still there. They let the army come in here and blow the bridges. When we had a flood, they used to have a flying fox across the river. And it was over at McKee's place, Lyle. Do you remember that, yeah. where it was? Yeah. 
but I was just totally amazed. And and I remember there was someone pregnant and she was sitting in a chair and they wheeled her across on that big rope. I don't know who she was, but as a young girl, I was just, well, it was flooded and she had to get into the hospital and that was it. <laughs> And so I, I don't know who Ted, it was. Ted Ivory had a boat up at the at the bridge up here, and he used to ferry the in the flood time. He used to uh, ferry the cream across, cream cans, put them in the boat. How about that? Then they're, they're not light. I, 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 no, no, I had a motor. I'm <laughs> not sure what type it was, but I had a motor, and uh, he used to face it upstream, and he go along. It was so strong he couldn't go straight across. No. And he'd come across, and then we'd have the cream truck this side that it put the cream on the truck. We didn't have a high bridge. No. Uh, Wyvernhoe Bridge, we used to come down there and it was just a little wooden Lung. bridge. Yeah, you'd go down into and then, the river. And, and then you'd go Gallop. across the river. Yeah. The big flood went through in 1974, decimated Brisbane. That's when uh, they decided to build Wyvernhoe. Mm -hmm. And then when the word got out, and there was a lot of congestion. A lot of people didn't want it. Of course, the people on the land didn't want it. But, well, uh, when you take a man out of his job when he's born and bred there. Well, we suffered badly because we lost uh, about 25 accounts. We used to cut all the hay and a lot of them up in the Mattis Pocket here grew potatoes, mm. pumpkins. And we took them through the Brisbane markets. Yeah. Well, they had a firm from New Zealand that was contracted, and they they had um, they had surveyors come through. They had a uh, one set of star pickets. That was the uh, high wa high water line. And they had another lot of star pickets further down to where there was holding level. And from that high water mark down, every tree was cut down. Uh, the Mount the Mount S Pocket uh, School out there, that was moved into for the kindergarten. Cinnamons moved their house into Middle Street. Conroy's moved theirs into Buff Street. There's a few more, isn't there? Right? Yeah. There's quite a few of them. But a lot went out of the area. Yeah. Oh, out here at Bride and Murumba Bridge, there was a hall that was called Murumba Hall. Because there was nothing much, no TV. Nothing much in those days. We used to dance a lot. There was always dancers in there one or two times a week. Bryden, they had a hall. It would have been gone under the water, but it's now over in the showgrounds and it's called the Bryden Hall. The Marumba Hall went to Kaminya and joined yeah. onto the hall down there. And then there was a Bellevue Homestead. That's down around the corner here. Uh, it went into Kaminya. It's called the Bellevue Homestead. Uh, Northbrook. Oh, well, the, no. a, lot, a lot of the roads went under there. Yeah. And a lot of the houses and that were shifted from down there too. Yeah. Where the wall is now, that was uh, Hayes that were on the left hand side, and then North's owned the yeah. whole, all North. around. There's three families of North's there. Yeah. But the families like, are getting thin though, you know, yeah. like our age. Um, there's a lot passed on, and, so it changes. Um, Not many of them left and, that live uh, there. It's not the same and never will be, the way our lives were compared to our grand great grandchildren today. They'll go up used to that. They will never know what the river was like. Yeah.
first trace lying down. That was must have been the, the flow. Wouldn't it be interesting to quantify the amount of potential energy there is? Bite to it, this little bugger. I was actually thinking, should I? Uh... end of the road. Yeah, quite literally. Uh, end of the Brisbane Valley, or well, the old Brisbane Valley Highway. That's right. So this is the old Brisbane Valley Highway. Uh, it goes down uh, to what used to be Wyvernhoe Bridge under the water here behind us, a few hundred meters down uh, on this road. And then it climbed up the other side and then continued down towards, well, the current stretch of the highway, pretty much. But it was all submerged in the early 1980s. The dam was filled and the highway realigned now crosses the dam wall. And if we go back this way, we've been following this road or we've been zigzagging across this road uh, almost the whole way from Nenango um, through the Seven Mile Diggings, uh, all through there. Um, it's, uh, it's quite an old road. Yeah, I think this follows the oldest uh, road uh, along the river you know, from a, the very early European settlement. Uh, so it, it crossed up here, joined sort of where the highway is now, up to Esk, and then up to um, continuing the valley up to Moore, cutting inland, and then up along the old stations there and up to Nanango. So uh, I don't know this, but I'm guessing that it was on an old Aboriginal route because they were well-trodden uh, roads for a long time before yeah. European settlement. So the dam wall is just behind us over here? Yeah, behind the trees. Oh, so... Um, a little bit of a challenge there because the next leg we've got to go on the other side of that wall yeah. and head into the mid river. But that's all, it's all been washed away and damaged by the flood, so it's currently closed. So mm. um, we'll just have to see what comes of that and, and come up with a plan. Yeah, the spillway common is closed. Yeah. yeah. It'd be nice to, to follow on directly from the wall. Mm. Um, 
but Mother Nature may have other plans. It's a nice spot because you have the big wall on one side and then the river. It's quite a beautiful stretch of the river, actually, the, the mid river. So I look yeah. forward to going on it. Yeah, it looks uh, it looks to be a wonderful trip ahead. Yeah. Um, it's been a beautiful weekend out here. Um, thank you to Tony and Ross for for sailing us around the lake yesterday. That was a, an amazing adventure and, and just another way. It was a beautiful day, great day for sailing. Mm. Um, plenty of wind about, and um, it made for quite a quite a casual day for yeah. our uh, our usual pace. Travelling in style. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks very much, mate. We'll see you next time around. Absolutely. Next yeah. leg. On we go. So what's eating them? Is it platypus? Yeah, I don't know.